my name is Simone. I usually build shitty robots, but for this video series, I'm using a very non-shitty robot because KUKA has decided to lend me their LBR Iwa. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna use it today. This is me using very expensive things to do stupid things, which is like one of my favorite hobbies of all time. My second favorite hobby is wasting smart people's time which I'm doing now too because you're watching this live stream. Uh, so Scott is behind the camera. He's gonna read your questions and your comments throughout. So if there's anything you wanna know, let us know and we'll answer it throughout. Also, this is sponsored by KUKA. So we have certain standards we need to adhere to, like having a good Christmas hat on it. And also a safety announcement. Scott, do you wanna read the safety announcement? Warning, the robotic applications shown in this video have been prepared in consultation with professionals and have been enacted in a controlled environment. Using a robot with the required safety precautions may result in serious injury or property damage. Accordingly, the producers in KUKA insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any activity performed on this broadcast without the support of qualified professionals. You're so good. It's crazy. Uh, if you didn't catch all of that, it's all in the description of this video. Uh, the TL, TLDR is that this is a collaborative robot arm, so it's like meant to interact with humans. I'm safe, KUKA has made sure that we're all safe, but the question for today is, is Christmas safe because we're gonna decorate this tiny Christmas tree? Because nothing says Christmas like putting balls on a phallic bushy object, except for putting balls on a phallic bushy object using cutting edge technology. <laughs> yes! Okay, I think we're, uh, we're ready to go. Okay, so we got all our balls in a row. <laughs> we made this little ball hanger. Balls is just inherently funny. I feel like 90% of the joke jokes in this video is gonna be about balls. Um, but we're gonna use like a hand guided mode so we can record a sequence, like move it around, record a sequence, and then it copies it. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, record record the, the ball hanging sequence. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm hitting record, and then I have a little foot pedal here, and that lets me move around the robot arm. So we have the... Uh, okay, we have three balls, and we're going to try and do all of them. But I must admit that if we only get one, I'll be happy. Ooh. I do not have very high hopes for my own like robot wrangling skills. <laughs> what we can gather from this. Uh, okay. The recording is going all right. Some people are already saying there's no chance this is gonna work. Really? Well, prepare to be amazed. <laughs> Let's put this one right at the top. Uh. Well, we'll see. I mean, it is a little bit, it's a little bit tricky. Okay, stop recording. I think we're gonna get at least one out of three balls. Maybe two. There are messages of support now as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm really happy for the support. I'm also really sad that you probably be disappointed. <laughs> Just lower your expectations. That's like, that is, my biggest guidance and like words of wisdom in life lower your expectations okay i i think uh i think we're gonna get one out of three balls we're, we're placing bets right now mine is one out of three okay are we ready let's do it i'm hitting replay now santa looks really different this year <laughs> while we're running this sequence people also want to know what the best present is you've ever gotten the best Christmas present? Uh, I don't know. My One of my best friends, Daniel, made me like a month-long treasure hunt. Oh, we got one out of three! Yes! We got one ball! Nobody has ever been so happy about having one ball. <laughs> yeah! But my, my friend Daniel gave me like a month-long treasure hunt. Oh, God damn it. But it like uh, had to, he made this like really crazy treasure hunt where I had to run in the forest and I found a USB stick and it had a code on it. I had to crack the code and then I had to hack into like a fake database that he, uh, he had programmed. It was just, it was, it was wild. 
Oh, God damn it. Well, I mean, <laughs> one out of three. That's, I think it's still, I mean, it did do one ball really well. That's true. I, I feel like I know we can get more than one ball on. Yeah? Do you think, what, what, do, what do all the people watching think? Do you think we should record a new sequence? Or should we try it again with the sequence? I think maybe let's do, I, I think we should do a new sequence from scratch. I can do a better recording than that. People aren't weighing in, but people do want you to try again. Yeah, we'll try again. Okay, but so let's do a brand new sequence. Let's do a brand new sequence. Um, new sequence is definitely now trending. Oh, really? Yeah. New sequence? Something I never thought would. The sequel? The sequel sequence. And okay. People really don't want you to move the tree. Don't want me to move the tree? Mm -hmm. that's, that's a comment that's coming through. Why? Why would we. <laughs> Is it poorly placed? Is it, I don't get that. They don't want me to move the tree? They just, uh, people are recommending, we have it taped down on one side, but people are saying they really want to make sure it's secure. Uh, yeah, it is, it's like a little bit taped down. We can tape it down better if we want to. Okay. I'm already feeling worse about this recording. <laughs> Something like that. And oh no! Third. People want to know what your favorite Christmas tradition is. My favorite Christmas tradition, uh, I mean, receiving gifts is really a tradition close to my heart. That's, uh, that's probably my favorite part of it. The thing is, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't. I mean, I like Christmas because it's like with my family and stuff, but I don't really eat that much Christmas food because I'm vegetarian. And yeah, I think, yeah, definitely gifts. Speaking <laughs> of gifts, people want to know what you want for Christmas. What I want for Christmas? I want reproductive rights for everyone. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I want stuff. Things. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like fun tools and stuff. I think I always I always enjoy um, little kits and, and things I can make make things out of. That's like probably my favorite part. Also for Christmas, I wanted to successfully hang two balls, not just one. One ball is not good enough. We need two out of three balls. We all know that that is the standard that we just made up, but it's very important to me personally. Okay. I think uh, I think we might get zero balls, but you know I create I, I count even failure as a success. So, are you ready for this? Yeah. While you're running the sequence, people also want to know if you're going to Sweden for Christmas. I am going to Sweden. I'm flying back to Sweden on uh, on Monday, so I'm gonna go there and hang out with my family for ten days. Okay. Why is it not moving? Uh, okay. We're going. And. Okay, we're off to a great start. Uh, we dropped one ball. God damn it. I actually thought this would work. Okay, we have one ball is successfully picked up. One out of two. Let's get it to hang properly. Uh, oh, no! yeah, I mean, it like placed it on it. I don't know if it... You'll say Merry Christmas in Swedish. Uh, go you... Oh, God damn it. I'm not even... I can't even look. I can't even look anymore. You say Merry Christmas in Swedish is gold yule. What just happened? God damn it. Okay. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, this is... Uh, yeah. Gold, Merry Christmas in Swedish is gold yule. Should we try with lights? I mean, let's run the sequence just one more time because I feel like it didn't it didn't happen the way it should have. We can we can do it better. And then we need to move on to lights because there's no Christmas tree without lights. People are also just asking about the hook that you have. The hook, uh, the hook is this really well engineered uh, piece of wire and duct tape. <laughs> it's uh, you know it's it's really cutting edge. The thing is that this gripper is currently not working with the hand guided mode so we kind of had to make do with a hook okay we're having the exact same results second time around uh things are not looking hopeful no 
okay, it's doing worse. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cancel this. Let's just uh, abort. Some people are saying this is a depressing Christmas tree. This is depressing? Just the tree. Just the tree? I mean, it is a little bit depressing, but I think that if we have some lights on it, it will do better. Are we ready for lights? I think we're ready. Yeah, I think, it, okay, balls, definitely not that great. I think we're just gonna have to, I mean, the thing is like, Christmas is all about traditions, so we're gonna have to hang it the, the classic way. Um, another question coming in, how do you like being in San Francisco versus being in Stockholm? San Francisco versus in Stockholm, um, I, I don't know. I just, I like that San Francisco, it's like now even, I mean, it's December. Ooh, what is it doing? <laughs> it's still doing the thing. Uh, even in December, it's like, it's light in Stockholm. I don't mind the cold as much as the dark. But of course, like, I miss, I miss my family um, in Sweden, but it's like, I have really good friends here as well, so it's all good. Okay, uh, we're gonna record a new light sequence. Gonna put the lights on the hook. Okay. So let's record a sequence. And this is really when you're gonna be wowed. Prepare yourself. Do you have a favorite Christmas movie? A favorite Christmas movie? Mm. Oh my god, I'm bad at Christmas. <laughs> I feel like I have no favorite Christmas things. A favorite Christmas movie, maybe, um, no, none that I'm proud of and want, and want to tell people about. I mean, I loved, like, Love Actually when I was younger, so maybe it, I'll say that, but that's, I'm also slightly embarrassed about it. There are more requests to take the tree. The tree is not going to be taped down, okay? <laughs> You calm yourselves down. I mean, let's try it once without the without the tea tree taped down. Okay, maybe you're right. Maybe it was a good idea. Maybe, uh, maybe you're right. I just, I don't know what you're talking about. See, this is the type of fun you can have with a non-taped down tree. Okay, let's, uh, you're right, we should tape down the tree. I have some tape handy. Do I have some duct tape? Oh, right here. People are saying duct tape saves lives. Really? Yeah. Duct tape? Duct tape also takes lives, if you know what I mean. It's, <laughs> it can do all things. I, no, I love duct tape. Duct tape is a... When am I? I'm heading to the tested office later today to do like a favorite tools video. Maybe I should just bring duct tape. I'll be like, yes, I did all my research. Oh, this is good. Okay. I mean, today duct tape might save Christmas, so it can also put that on its resume. Okay, I think let's uh, let's do a new sequence here all together. While you're doing that, we've been getting some ideas of what to do with the arm. Uh, yeah. Snowball throwing, cookie decorating. Oh, but that's nice, but that's all Christmas stuff. I mean, like, we're gonna, so we are taking a break next week since I'm in Sweden and I'm not gonna bring this robot arm to Sweden. And we're gonna be back on um, the 30th and then we're gonna do a New Year's episode. And that is, we're gonna have a guest, Mark Rober is coming on, which I'm really excited about. He has like a super cool science YouTube channel, but that's gonna be on the 30th and it's also on a Saturday, not on a Friday like we usually do. Um, but yeah, but then we're doing like a New Year's themed one. So let's uh, launch some uh, fireworks with this robot arm, <laughs> I don't know. No, okay, last, Last time. This is my last attempt as, at success. Otherwise, I'm calling it a day. Replay. Just a little bit of help. Yeah. 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 Oh! Uh, 
thank you so much for watching and Christmas has been saved once again. <laughs> This was, uh, yeah, this is sponsored by Kuka. Thanks to Kuka for lending us this robot arm and sponsoring this video series. And come and watch in two weeks or on December the 30th when we're gonna stack champagne glasses, I think the plan is, with Mark Rover. It'll be a lot of fun and also have a good day and Merry Christmas. Bye.